I'm Ross Jennings and this is Waffle TV sponsored by West Pier. This afternoon I'm with Diane Spencer who, with her show this year called Hurricane Diane. Now, have you had a hurricane named after you? Because of this? There was yeah. actually a hurricane uh, <laughs> in the North Atlantic in 19... I think it was 1944. Like, That's I'm looking research. around the room okay. like it's a <laughs> In case any of us <laughs> Um, yeah, and it was actually the most expensive hurricane uh, that they had had up until that point um, because the, the way that they name hurricanes is alphabetically mm. and um, I, I did seriously think about this because I named the show and then because all the news came out in America of the about hurricanes, hurricanes and the tornadoes and then I was doing a preview and so I kind of stand up and said, hello, my name is Hurricane Diane and already there's an American <laughs> going, ugh! Oh, so bad, oh, bad no, taste. No, bad no. taste. No, I did it in February. Yeah. It's just copying me. Right, it's right. not my fault. God's trying to get in on my act. <laughs> I was the original one. Yes, yeah, so you must be a pretty formidable force on stage. Uh, no, I'm just I'm quite honest with what I say. Yeah. So I have certain experiences which aren't necessarily um, the graceful. Like I can't pretend that life occasionally doesn't throw you a big glob of poo in your face and so I say that on stage and people kind of go ah and like last year I opened the show with I wank too much I was just being honest and then people it was like I'd slam the brakes on a bus everybody just went oh and um, <laughs> so that's where I people say oh I did a hurricane a tour de force and it's I guess it's just because I've rehearsed what I'm going to say. Mm. I know that I'm going to say I wank so much I get pruned it, and people are like, ah, oh, because they come in fresh. So I actually learned this year to kind of build it up a little bit. Start with a gentle breeze and then whip into a thing. And warm them up. We'll yeah, rather than just hit them in the face with a brick. So, <laughs> since we last spoke to you last year, what what have you been up to this year? Have you been touring the UK with? I've just been or? doing bits and bobs, really. I mean, kind of writing a lot, yes. uh, just being a comedian, just like sort of ringing people up, getting gigs. Uh, I got a lovely agent, got a brand new agent, mm -hmm. it's very flash. Um, um, I'm missing the most important bit, I'm in love. Having, so having your boyfriend up here and being in love, how does that impact a comedian? How does that impact your jokes? Well, people tell you that you're not going to be That's as funny because okay. they say, oh, Comedy comes from tragedy, blah blah blah. I disagree. If I'm unhappy, I find it hard to think of happy things. Yeah. I, the happier I am, the easier it is to write because I'm already starting from a Elated. point of being happy of, of being... Because all I want to do is bring joy. I just want to make people laugh. Like, that's it. Mm. And so, kind of, if, you, if I start off happy, that happiness is going to come through, Spreads, and then the jokes come like through, a... and then all the writing comes through, yeah. and it, it just all comes through. And do you guys work together at all with jokes? Will you try your jokes oh, on yeah. him? Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> it's so you got you two together must be a formidable force. Then. It, <laughs> you tear your friends apart, I can imagine. <laughs> oh no. What kind of person do you think I am? <laughs> is that what you do to your friends? That's awful. Do you have many friends? I'm worried no. about you now. No. Okay. <laughs> Uh, no, we, um, Kev's made a joke about it in his Fringe show because he says I'm dating a comedian and he says, oh, people would think that's really funny. Let me tell you, when you're having sex with your partner and halfway through they go... <laughs> <laughs> then they get out of bed, get a pen and a piece of paper. It's not so fucking funny. <laughs> Uh, that is the first week's reason, I can imagine. I no, mean, I made that one up, but I have, um, like... So you had to pay that back on him, I can imagine. Oh yeah, don't worry, I've got stuff in my show. Oh yeah, it's tip for tap. When we've been doing previews together, it's going funny, because I'll get up and I'll say, so then this guy did this, blah, 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 blah. And then he'll get up after me and say, right, let me just set the record straight. And then people are sat there going, oh my god. <laughs> kind of like, oh, they are the, ooh. And it's kind of, it's a bit, it's almost a bit like, um, in, like a soap opera, really. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what, so, would you ever do anything together on stage? Oh, um, no, I, I, I don't think so. We, we write together a lot. Like, I want to write a sitcom. Okay. My big thing is, I love, I, I, I really, I've got this idea for a sci fi comedy that I'm working on trying to get onto the radio. And my fantastic new agent is very good and he's been Pushing. shuffling it in people's faces. Diane, it has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you oh, very it's much. It's lovely Thank to meet you, you. And we look forward to seeing you. It's 5, 5.45 in the Gilded Balloon every evening. Yes. From the 2nd to the 24th. I'm, I'm here the whole... No, the I'm whole, doing the 25th as 25th well. 25th as well. Yeah. 
which is in this very building. So hope you guys catch that. And this is Ross Jennings from Waffle TV. Thank you.